Well, very, very good to welcome you here today, and, and thank you very much for coming. My name's Rennie Hoare. I'm one of the partners here at Hawes Bank and also the head of philanthropy. Um, I'm incredibly exciting to see the unveiling today, and in a small part, um, it was wonderful as a family to be be part of um, helping this project get, get off the ground. I think finding ways of, of um, just being involved with heritage, supporting um, Fleet Street and, and doing things correctly is, is absolutely terrific. And um, I think the final thing I, I want to say before we get into the, the real excitement here is um, what, what a pleasure it is to have everyone here in person. Um, I think we, we haven't had nearly enough of that, and so um, just terrific to have met all of you and, and to feel the support of things. So without further ado, I'll hand over first to Piers um, to take us through a bit more detail. Thank you. First of all, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you all very much for coming here. Um, as you will have seen, we're doing a video of this, and if there's anybody that doesn't like being in a video, please keep out of the video shots. <laughs> it's been a, a really long haul since the original thought of putting a sundial on that wall about 14 years ago. Um, and I put all the d details of that in the booklet which you've been given, so I won't go through any of it now. Um, this is a, a, a very exciting moment to have got the whole thing completed uh, and it's involved putting together a team which has worked really well together. There have been one or two glitches on the way um, but none of them have been uh, serious in the end and here we are and the th Sundial is completed um, within budget and on time. Um, it is just the start of a bigger project, the Fleet Street Heritage Project, and there are six examples of the information panels which were intending to produce about 80 of. Um, they're all laid out on that, that table there, which you can have a look at afterwards. But the important thing I want to do now um, is to say thank you to every member of the team um, who has contributed to this happy outcome. And a particular thank you to Hilary Russell, the Lady Maris, who did a marvellous job on cutting the tape, yeah. um, and to whom I will now hand over, Hilary. Thank you, peers. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, in my nearly two years as Lady Mayoress, I've been asked to open a variety of interesting and worthwhile projects, but this was my first opening of a sundial. And what a unique sundial it is. It's on a fabulous site, right in the city, right in the heart of the city, celebrating the heyday of Fleet Street as a centre of newspaper production. It's not just an icon of an historic city industry, but also a striking reminder of the street's role as the place where our free press was born. 
Of course, you can see traces of the old newspapers in, in many of the buildings on this historic street. Now, there's a family connection here. The Lord Mayor's grandfather, Sir Ian Bowater, was head of Bowater PLC, famous for selling newsprint, notably to Lord Rothermere of the Daily Mail Group. The company became Bowater Scott, who sold Lou Roll, which, as we all know, became a very precious commodity last year. <laughs> This sundial is a valuable addition to our city landmarks and is part of a wider series, as Piers said, of work to celebrate the heritage of Fleet Street and make it more accessible to everyone. I'm very proud that the City of London Corporation has supported this project and funded it through the Community Infrastructure Levy Neighbourhood Fund. So thank you to Piers, who thought of the idea 12 years ago and pursued it tenaciously for all these years and to the many others who joined in to make it possible. So, hot off the press, it gives me great pleasure to declare the Fleet Street Heritage Sundial officially open.